Welcome back to my channel. A common problem I found, uh, we have a TCL, a fairly recent one. The screen goes blank, but if you hold a flashlight to it, you can find that the, uh, the logo is still behind the, uh, the, the black uh, screen. So, um, when you open up the back to uh, find out what's wrong with it, um, you'll find this board, that's power, the, the power control board. Uh, there's a separate board that does all the, uh, um, all the channel selections, all that sort of stuff, the programming of the TV. Uh, this is the power board only. So you'll find this in the back. Uh, be extra careful when you unplug it, these capacitors right here, they will hold uh, about a 300, 400 volt charge. Uh, make sure you take your multimeter uh, and check the voltage or on these two pins, short these two pins out on each one and that'll discharge these uh, high voltage capacitors. The culprit that I found um, is this diode right here. Uh, there's the board number for anyone that wants to uh, double check the board. This diode right here is the one that fails. So if you go into, into diode mode, we'll just flip that there, and we'll check it. And you check it the first way, and you got zero. This is kind of tough with one hand here. So we're checking it. We got zero. And when you flip it around, Flip it around, we got zero again. Flip it around once more, zero again. So it's shorted open, and um, so it needs to be replaced. What I did, uh, purchased a replacement diode, uh, SB3200 shot key diode. SSG21163. This guy uh, got through DigiKey, uh, bought a pack of 10 of them because I don't have any in my stock. Uh, they're fast switching shot keys, so uh, they're a little bit special. They're high current uh, for the backlight control. And basically, what you'll do is you'll, um, is you'll unsolder that, these two connections right there. I've already unsoldered this guy. And I've checked it on the multimeter out of circuit. So now I'll go and I'll replace this one, solder it in, and give it a try on the TV. So here's the TCL model number. It's 55S446.ca. Here's the back of the TV. That's power control board. And that's the brains of the machine. So I uh, believe there's a few other, uh, I think the uh, T-Con board's hiding under here. And this part here is, heads into the lighting circuit for the LEDs. And then this one supplies voltage for the main board. Here's the moment of truth. And the light has come on, the standby light. That was on before. Before you could you can turn it on, you could barely see with a flashlight shining in there that that was, uh, uh, there was an image behind it. So let's hit the power button. Bam, there it is. All right, we fixed it. Awesome, I hope this works uh, for you if you have a problem with this model. It's a super simple fix, took about uh, 30 minutes to take care of it. And uh, yeah, I 
hope you saved yourself a TV.